हेलो फ्रेंड वेलकम टू मरी इंजीनियरिंग हब दिस इज नेटर चीफ इंजीनियर रवि गुप्ता टुडे वी गोना टॉक अबाउट डबल सिक्योरिटी सील व्हिच आल्सो नोन एज कांस्टेंट एयर फ्लो टाइप दिस डबल सिक्योरिटी सील इज अ अपग्रेडेड वर्जन ऑफ अ स्टर्न ट्यूब लुब्रिकेशन अर्लियर द स्टर्न ट्यूब लुब्रिकेशन लुक लाइक दिस बट नाउ इट हैज मॉडिफाइड इनटू दिस मोस्ट ऑफ द न्यू शिप इज प्रोवाइडेड विद दिस डबल सिक्योरिटी सील अरेंजमेंट it has got many advantage we'll see so first let's see what design changes they have made so first let's see the normal structure this is the engine side this is the propeller side the lubrication of the stern tube takes place between here to here the oil remain in between this part okay the oil remain in between this part okay and this is the chrome lining and what happened this is called forward seal This is called R seal. The number one and two face in the propeller direction, and number three face in the engine direction. And here also, the four and five face in the propeller direction. But in the upgraded version, what they have done, one and two facing the propeller direction, and three also, three and three S are facing the engine side direction as you can see here here are only three seal in the aft side there are only three seal but they have brought up come up with a two seal arrangement it means that on the engine side facing lip seal are two in number and two are in the propeller side facing so that therefore they have given number 1 2 3 and 3s so that this 4 and 5 remain same okay so that was the modification one more lip seal was added on the oil side okay so this side is the oil oil remain max maximum up to here so if this leak then only the oil will come here okay so this side is the oil so now what is happening in order to enhance the structure and in order to ensure that no oil go outside in sea this 3s seal have been introduced and therefore it is called double security now let's see how to work as an improvement to the aforementioned design the constant air flow type of seal was designed okay as we have we have told you normally it look like this now a constant quantity of air supplied from a air source passes through seal number 2 and 3 chamber and then is spouted into sea so 1 2 3 3s yes. so as you can see air means still here it is oil between 3 and 3s yes is oil but between 2 and 3 and air is being given from the engine room side and that is lifting up the 1 and 2 and getting into the sea getting into the sea means one more so i tell the air is given from the engine room side is coming in between the chamber 2 and 3 and the pressure is such that it will lift the 2 and 1 seal and after that it will go into the sea okay so the air pressure is maintained about 0.1 bar greater you can see the air pressure which is maintained is also regulated regulated means what i mean to say that suppose from the this side if the pressure which is acting is 1 bar then from here from the engine room side the air which is coming their pressure will be 1.1 bar it means that only sufficient high enough to lift the number 2 and 1 and just go into the sea means the differential pressure between the outside and the air pressure applied from the engine room is not that much only slightly greater than the sea water pressure okay so means it means that pressure should be only slight enough to exceed the tightening force of the 1 and 2 of the seal link and the air will go outside the sea the air pressure is added to the stern tube oil tank which is installed at a 3 mm above a shaft center so normally this is a gravity tank and what is saying it's saying the air pressure is added to the stern tube oil tank installed at a 3 mm above a shaft center the air is also added on this gravity tank which is install okay above the 3m shaft center 
height line means if this is a soft center height line okay so the, if this is a soft center height line so this distance they are talking about this distance is 3 mm okay this distance is 3 mm and the air line one air line will come and it will be given here okay from the engine room that will also be added in the gravity tank okay i hope it is clear okay so now the stern tube oil pressure become the air pressure plus 2 by 3 chamber pressure and also follow the draft change okay now any draft change can be automatically directed and both air pressure in the 2 and 3 and the stern tube oil pressure follow the draft change instantaneously so as you can see means the seal is designed in such a way that any draft change will be automatically directed and the air pressure in the 2 and 3 chamber and the stern tube oil pressure will follow accordingly okay the difference in the r sealing are always negligible it means that the difference between the r sealing means this pressure is maintained almost negligible okay now we will see here the advantage there are two advantage of a constant air flow type one is that sea water rarely come into the 2 and 3 sea water rarely come because if the sea water need to come from this side to here okay first it means this seal have to go go bad okay after that if this should go bad then if this seal go bad then only sea water come here okay and which th that will come that also get drain out okay so it means if the water come here it means that the bow seal have gone bad so chances is very rare and as you know the air pressure is always greater than sea water pressure so most of the sea water which is come trying to come in will be thrown out from from the by the air okay the other is that life of a seal ring now one more very important point is there is say that the life of this seal ring 1 and this seal ring 2 is increased because the air pressure which is been given and the difference between the sea water side and the oil side is less because the differential pressure is less as the differential pressure is less therefore the life of the bow seal ring is good is not subjected to high high pressure gradient and therefore its life is increased so i hope in today video you have learned that why it is called double security it is called double security because this additional 3s is provided which is preventing the oil to move outside the sea to prevent that what they are doing first they are providing air by providing the air they are removing any sea water ingress second they are maintaining a small amount of pressure difference so that the life of the bow seal will be longer third even if the seal is gone if the sea water comes that will be drained and collected here which will be monitored and give alarm after that even if the sea water ingress is more in that case it have to overcome this third seal and then only it can come to the oil side it means that the r2 drain okay it means that in order to have a contamination of sea water with the oil they have to overcome first seal second seal and then alarm and then the third seal then only the oil can get contamination therefore it is called double security it is called double security so the chances of the chances in this case are very less the chances in this case are very less and therefore it is called double security now one more information is that most of the oil which is here which is used now the engine which are installing this double security are using now normal lubol sump oil is now used in lubol sump oil is used here because the chances of oil getting contaminated with the sea water is almost negligible therefore the crankcase oil can now be used sump oil meaning sump oil is used as a stern tube lubrication oil or you can say also if the oil 
is having different lubrication property or is if the oil have different manufacturing property earlier the oil used to have a environmental fan friendly earlier oil used to have a environmental friendly if there is a leakage it will be environmental friendly but now if you are installing double security seal your oil need not to be environmental friendly because the chances of oil lubrication oil contamination is almost negligible so you can install oil which is non environmental friendly because the chances are less in the double security seal and hence it will reduce the cost so this is the advantage of double security seal okay so thank you friend i hope in today video you have learned what is a double security seal how it seal how this double security seal work and why it is called double security if you have any doubt still please do comment and please if you want to learn more and if you want to contribute to our channel please you can contribute through super sanks app you can contribute by becoming a member